Right now on your 13 Action News update, Commissioner William McCurdy, along with community organizations, will be handing out backpacks and school supplies to children to get them ready for their first day of school. The event is happening at Walnut Recreation Center from 4 to 7 o'clock tonight. The back to school vaccines, sports physicals and other resources will also be offered. If you miss out today, another back to school giveaway event is happening this Thursday at Pearson Community Center. Well, some people woke up this morning only to deal with the effects of yesterday's flooding. Some cars were stuck. Some people had to be rescued. Really a lot going on yesterday. The floodwaters also rushed through washes. The Regional Flood Control District strongly recommends avoiding the washes and tunnels even when it's dry because of the severe danger from flash floods. North Las Vegas Fire discovered a body in a wash after responding to reports of someone stuck. The police department says it did find the body of a man who appears to be in his 50s. The cause and manner of death is unknown. The investigation is ongoing. We will keep you updated on air and online as we learn more details. Justin. Thank you very much, sir. And unfortunately, the threat of additional localized, very heavy rainfall is in the forecast this afternoon, which could uh, lead to more flash flooding. We do have a flood watch posted through tonight for all of the Las Vegas Valley and really most of the desert southwest. Scattered storms most likely uh, through the afternoon here as we head toward and past sunset. Things should tend to fizzle. Here's a quick check of future casts and you know somewhat difficult to exactly pinpoint the chaotic nature of where these storms form, but somewhere in the valley early to mid afternoon, it's likely that will catch a quick quarter inch, possibly Possibly a half inch of rain, and that's enough to cause some issues. Justin looks like 30% rain and storm chances, not only today, but also Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll be watching the radar closely. Yes, we will. All right, that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnb.com, and our free mobile app.